Here with me now, the fabulous fitness guru, Richard Simmons. Let's do it together. Come on. Let's do it together. I like that. Okay, let's stretch <laughs> up. Let all your viewers stretch up. All nice and get just feeling good about yourself. You know, exercise does that, Jane. It really does make you feel so good, and it really rises your self-esteem. Well, listen, I, I don't think uh, people will let me uh, exercise during a show, but your point is well taken. I'm trying to make exercise fun. You know, that's why I go dancing. I have always gone dancing, and sometimes I'm not the youngest person on the dance floor, let's put it that way. But I, I can't stop because it's a fun way. It, it's a really fun way to get exercise. Well, September is, Nash, is Childhood Obesity Awareness Month. As you know, there are more obese kids now than ever. Six years ago, I went to Congress to work on a bill called the Fit Kids Bill, and it is still in Washington, but nothing's going to happen until after the election. What I want people to know is that obese kids can change. They can change with the influence and guidance of their family. Many times I call overweight uh, teenagers and kids, and 80% of the time, one or both parents are overweight. I want the, the, uh, the parents to know that if they set a good example for their kids, they can lose weight and not go from an overweight teen to an overweight adult, from an overweight kid to an overweight teen. And, and it all has to happen in the home. We can't wait for Washington to say, let's put PE back in the school system. It's expensive and the budget for school systems is not really great. So it has to start at home. You have to make your meals for your kids, you know, not eating out so much. You have to take them for walks, get them doing something physically active. As a child, I felt defeated and actually, Jay and I hated myself. At 200 pounds in the eighth grade, it was pretty rotten. But I had to learn how to eat and I had to create some kind of a workout for myself. And I used to watch Shindig and Solid Gold and all these great shows. So when I got to do Sweatin' to the Oldies and pick out real music, I've done 65 DVDs now, and I'm just about ready to do 10 let new DVDs venture. of cardio and toning. Let me, let me yeah. ask you this. You say you were overweight as a kid. Now, you say that usually if the child is overweight, one of the parents is overweight. So were one of your parents overweight? No. No, my parents weren't. But they were both phys physically active. It's just that I didn't buy it at the time. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. We fry everything there. Even when you die in New Orleans, they deep fry you before you go in the coffin. So all I ate was fried oysters, fried shrimp, fried potatoes, fried vegetables. And, and I, had to, I had to get to my turning point and go, I can't go on like this. I don't like myself. I don't like to leave the house. How many kids, how many teenagers, and how many adults don't even like to go out because of the stairs and because they think that people are judging them? And when you're judged, it's a very difficult world to live in. Well, listen, I think you're one of my heroes. I love your energy. I love how fabulous you look. I love how you're inspiring kids to eat healthy fruits, veggies, nuts, grains, and it can be fun because when you're eating right, you can go out and you can dance and you can have a great time, right? You want to go out dancing I after hope one, the show? I hope one day, Jane, I hope one day you come <laughs> to my studio, Slimmons. It's still in Beverly Hills. I'll be there almost 40 years. Jane, come dance with me. I will do that and we'll put it on the air. How about that? That would be perfect.